So for the first part, I will be presenting the development of an emissions inventory in Pasig. So we did this together with Clean Air Asia, who helped us in having a hands-on approach in EI through a workshop conducted last July. This is one of the steps needed in the air quality management and it also feeds into the e-mobility roadmap of Pasig. So with the help of Clean Air Asia, we are using this guidance framework which shows the components of air quality management to develop a knowledge base, which includes the level and sources of pollution as well as its impact. The aim is to lead to solutions in the form of policies, frameworks, and measures that national and local governments and even individuals can formulate and apply. And in turn, these policies and frameworks can be institutionalized through cleaner action plans. Next. So what is an emissions inventory? So we conducted this as part of PASIG's e-mobility roadmap, and it is a comprehensive listing of amounts of air pollutants emitted by various sources in an area during a specific period that can be used to identify the most important sources and options for control. So it is location and time-based. The emissions inventory is the basic building block of air quality modeling and acts as an integral part of air quality management. Next. In the context of PASIG, we looked into all the mobile sources of pollution within the city, how emissions are emitted, where they are emitted, and when they were emitted. Next slide. So what is the role of the emissions inventory in air quality management. In PASI, this is extremely helpful in determining the areas where pollution is concentrated in the city. The results of the EI provide a list of sources of air pollutants and their emission levels. It can also help us determine the exposure of a population to air pollution when coupled with air quality modeling. The EI development is just the first step. And data from this can be combined with other factors such as meteorological data conditions, health incidence rates, and other data. These information contribute in the air quality management in the city. So with the EI, we can determine the sources of air pollution per barangay, and then from there, we can strategize to address specific pollutants on the result. These will all feed into the e-mobility roadmap and eventually, into the cleaner action plan for the city. Next. So there are two approaches to the emissions inventory. There is the bottom up and then the top down approach. So it's the estimation of emissions using specific data and using available general data. For passing, we focus on the bottom up approach first, dealing with the mobile sources of data. Next. This is just the EI process that we conducted in PASIG, an activity data template, which is an Excel file. And we were assigned barangays and a specific road segment to work on. So next we used Google Maps and we just selected the starting and destination point of our assigned road segment. And then next we encoded the road segment details on the template. So this also includes the date of extraction, the trip duration, and the type of vehicle share. Next, and then in Google Maps, you can get the historical traffic data by selecting specific dates in the calendar. You can see that option under the Leave Now button to get the historical traffic data. Then next, we just took snapshots of the road so we could perform a vehicle count on our assigned instrument. And then after that, we just encoded the data under the type of vehicle share where the annual vehicle kilometers are automatically calculated. And lastly, the results are included in another sheet in the results summary where the activity data for public transport are derived from our existing data, which includes the fleet size and the route. 
So next, Dana from Cleaner Asia will discuss the results and outcomes from the emissions inventory process in Pasig.